Hello everyone, welcome back to the SAP Data Sphere Training with me, Anubhav on anubhavtrainings.com. In the last episode of this YouTube data series on Data Sphere Training, we talked about how to connect your SAP Data Sphere account with Analytics Cloud to build amazing dashboards. In our today's episode, we will understand why do we need multi dimensional models in most of the systems, including SAP Data Sphere. What is the need to create multi dimension models in SAP Data Sphere or in any other technologies like BW or S4 HANA system? Followed by that, we will learn how to create your multi dimension model in the next episode. Please like, share, subscribe this video. Kindly share it in the WhatsApp group of your company so everyone in your team can take advantage of free data sphere training with us on anubhavtrainings.com. For detailed training on SAP Data Sphere with full fledged training on Analytics Cloud, don't forget to subscribe us on anubhavtrainings.com or send us an email on contact at anubhavtrainings.com. So let's get started today's session. So let's try and understand why we need an analytical model. Think about it when it comes to consumption and UGS. So suppose in your company you have a SAP BW system or maybe you have a SAP data sphere system. Now here is where you created a database table. Let's say for example sales table. Now this sales table contain 2 billion records. Yes, you created that. Later point of time, you will connect this to a SAP Analytics Cloud system more preferably, but it could be any consumption tool like Power BI or anything. So you connect it with SAP Analytics Cloud. For consumption, so your requirement is to basically build a total revenue in the sales per country. So let's say you get India, US and Canada. So now your table contains 2 billion records and you need to display total sales revenue per country. Now just think about it to display this data inside data analytics what you need. Technically speaking you just need India total revenue let's say 250 million. Then you say US total revenue about 500 million and let's say you have Canada total revenue about 370 million. Now you do not need to transfer 2 billion records from SAP BW or uh, data sphere to the analytic cloud. If you do that the 2 billion record consumes heavy volume. Now first of all transferring 2 billion record over the network is very expensive and time consuming. Yes, it's very very time consuming for you to transfer this data. Second problem is you also need a large store volume to store this data in your analytic cloud. Third is you're duplicating the data from data sphere to analytic cloud which is not also recommended. Yes, so these are the three challenges if you have large volume of data and you want to build analytics and insight you don't want to transfer everything. Now the question comes how do I answer this question then for the business. So the answer is you will create something called a multi dimension model. You do modeling. So a multi dimension model is name called multi dimension which means it allows you to look at your data from different dimensions from left perspective from top perspective from right perspective from bottom perspective from front perspective from back perspective. So you will be able to view your data from different dimensions perspective like what's the total sales by country. What's the total sales per currency. What's the total sales per region. Yes. What's a total net quantity sold per uh, per country. Yes, so to be able to get this insight you just need how many records three records you don't need two billion records. Yes, so this capability the table doesn't give you or table can give you but you need to fire a SQL every time 
you want to read this data you need to fire an SQL so this is the first challenge if you want this kind of data you don't want to fire SQL second is it's all the communication is over services because we are running in the browser the browser don't understand SQL they understand service calls so the communication has to be via service call second is we don't want to write SQL so that's where the answer is multi-dimension model so it is a three purpose one it allows you to view the data aggregate the data look at different perspective of the data from different angle different dimension second it can be consumed over a service third you do not need an SQL fourth it reduces the volume of data transfer from data sphere or BW system to analytic cloud that is why multi-dimension modeling is very very important so what you do is you ask this multi-dimension model hey the hey model tell me what's the total sales per country it will return you just three records and it's easy to transfer these three records to analytics cloud as compared to transferring two billion records and then doing some kind of a logic or loop here to calculate total sales not a recommended approach that's why we use multi-dimension models in every system now Today, as you talk about data sphere, the multi-dimension model here in today's class will be uh, the analytical model. Tomorrow, if you go to, let's say, a HANA system, just HANA, pure HANA database, a multi-dimension model is actually called as calculation view. You create a calculation view of type cube. If you tomorrow go with a, another system like SAP S4 HANA, this multi-dimension model is CDS view. If you heard about CDS view, these are also multi-dimension model. So every technology which SAP deliver, they deliver multi-dimension models. These multi-dimension models have power to aggregate your data, ask business questions and get you the business answers without transferring large volume of data. It is easier to consume, faster to consume and more efficient to work with the multi-dimension model. Fantastic. All right, so thank you so much for all of you for attending today's session on the topic of SAP Data Sphere. As usual, please feel free to subscribe the complete training end to end on SAP Data Sphere, SAP Analytics Cloud, SAP BTP, UI5 Fury, or any other technical skill set which you would want to upgrade in this new world of cloud. So do not forget to visit www.anubotrainings.com. Also, shoot us an email on contact at anubotrainings.com for any of the requirement regarding the technical training in the space of SAP. With that, Anubhav signing out. Once again, thank you so much and I will see you in my next episode.